Good day, my name is uh, Dmitry Kalbashkov and I would like to present uh, work and investigation of the capabilities of the of neural, artificial neural networks in problem of classifying objects with dynamic features. Uh, so our work is uh, dedicated to forest fires. Uh, it is, uh, in modern world, it is a significant problem. It is a significant problem that causes a lot of uh, damage to both civil nature and humans. Uh, it is important to early detect uh, fire and uh, to take timely measures to stop it. There is a several ways to do that, it, but all of them require a lot of human staff that force it to do a boring and uh, monotonous job. The other way to detect these fires it is use object detection. However, it is it is have uh, some problems. The smoke don't have any constant shape and color. Uh, it is uh, very depend on source uh, uh, and the distance between camera and fire source. It very depend on uh, time of the day, the weather condition, and there is a sometimes low climb clouds that could be recognized as smoke. Uh, there you can see a. Uh, that's that low flying clouds. So, uh, our, uh, as I say, our work is dedicated to uh, detect this, that smoke. But uh, we, we use the video segments to detect the smoke. We At first, we extract uh, some dynamic features, use object detection to detect some, to define some objects that would be a smoke, and then we Classify this object, uh, and is this place is a classification object. Uh, so we investigate the methods that could be used to classify this object with dynamic features. Uh, so the first step is frame preprocessing. As you can see, we just subtract, uh, take some frames from video sequence and subtract it to see some this uh, dynamic feature map. Uh, then we use simple object detection on that dynamic feature map. That shows us if there is smoke objects, if there is objects that could be considered as smoke or not. Uh, as you can see, we have we sometimes have uh, object detections that use only single plane can sometimes uh, detect landmarks as smoke or it would uh, see some object in the sky as uh, smoke when it uh, could be a cloud. So uh, detection by single frame it is not as efficient as it could be. Uh, to improve its result we can use uh, several images to uh, sequence of images to define if, it, if it's if we have a uh, small cloud so we have uh, several ways to do it at first we can uh, use just uh, we can extract several frames from sequence and uh, classify it separately and then combine its predictions or we can use uh, recur recurrent neural networks that use several frames at the same time that uh, to define our object. So as you can see here, we already uh, we uh, compare several two recurrent neural networks, GRU, and LSTM neural networks and fully connected neural networks. As you can see, uh, accuracy of LSTM neural networks is best uh, show best results, and the other uh, recurrent neural network classes show good result in compared with convolutional neural network. Uh, so here we, you can see we do some research uh, about uh, fine tuning of our recurrent neural network. As, and as you can see, the best result, it, it show very good result with accuracy is 85, uh, 85%, which is quite good results. <coughs> and, and so you can see in this slide the uh, work of our uh, dynamic feature classification. There you can see uh, objects that defined by uh, single frame, uh, single 
object detection that and that and the uh, right side is the uh, object with what what uh, what is classified as smoke by our uh, dynamic object classification and that's all i have a very short presentation if you have any questions please feel free to ask